my name is Desiree if you're new here, but if you're not and you just not returned again, you should know better. We're friends now. We're, we're locked in like this. Okay? And that's what you know. We're friends. You should know me. I might not know your name, but you should know mine. We're friends now. Okay, so starting off, I'm going to start off with my top favorites from, you know, I'm going to start with perfumes all the way down to all my candles from my most favorite to my least favorite. So, in the beginning, I have this. Like, my top, top, top favorite is warm vanilla sugar. Like, I don't know if you can see it. Maybe if I do it like this. Because I know the light is terrible. But, warm vanilla sugar. This is a 10 out of 10. Will always recommend. If you want to smell good, like vanilla -y. I know some people in their little vanilla girl era. Uh, era. So, if you want to smell like vanilla and a little bit of sweetness, all type of stuff like that. 10 out of 10 with me. Next, I have Butterfly. And I ain't gonna lie, I like the smell, but I was kind of obsessed with it because I'm kind of in like my Butterfly phase right now, as well as I like the color purple. But it still does smell good. Like, it's in the top for a reason. Um, before I had this, I was obsessed with this one. And, you know, I kind of did a little wrap around and change it around or whatever like that. So, that's my second top favorite. Second, yeah, second top favorite. So, moving on to the third, we have an original. Everybody should know this. I know they're trying to like rebrand it or whatever like that. They've been changing the bottles a lot. Like, every time I go in there, it's like a new bottle. But Japanese Shade Blossom, like, my label is kind of faded off. That just shows like how long I've had this. I think I've had this for almost like two years now, and I'm still not done. But I'm about there. Give me like another month or so and I felt like I'll be done I'll be I'll be gone I need me another bottle all right so my fourth I have is cucumber melon wow if you have to, uh, if you have the candle or you know had any like lotions like that I know people used to really get them as lotions instead I've never really seen it as the perfume I don't think or either at the time I didn't really care for it because I was hooked on something else at the moment. But this is another, I would still give it a 10 out of 10. Even though it's not like in my top, top favorite, I would still give it a 10 out of 10. I love it. It smells good. I don't even smell like, I don't even know how to put it. Like it smells fruity, but it has like a very distinctive smell. I don't know how to put it, but top favorite. One of my top favorites. No, listen, take my word for it. Next, I have Champagne Toast. My label kind of messed up on this one, too. I ain't gonna lie. I would had this bottle for a long time, and you can see just how much I didn't use, like, about this much. And I would had this, I want to say, like, since, like, a year ago I got this. And it's my favorite, but at the same time, a lot of people then hooked on it. So, it's just, like, I try to switch my smells up so it's not all the same things. Because I walk in the room, and I smell like Champagne Toast. You smell like Champagne Toast. We all just... Champagne toast. I need another smell. I need another fragrance. So moving on to the next is another original. Um, I can't even lie. I think I used to have a bottle like this. I know this ain't my bottle. I know my girlfriend gave this to me because she stopped using it. But it's only a little bit left. I think I used to have sweet pea or even my mama did. And I used to love the way it smells. And now I use it all day, every day. Well, not all day, every day, but and I did. Like I said, I try to switch my stuff up. Even though I'm be going to wear besides class and right back to my room. Tragic. Um, next up, this is no, this is it. No, this is mine, it's not my girlfriend's. Okay, I have Sunshine Mimosa. If you ever heard smell this, I think this was like a new fragrance they came out with maybe was it last year? I wanna say last year I got this. I don't know. I can't even remember how it smells like one minute. Oh, yeah, that's why I put it there. My top favorites. It has, like, a little... If I'm being honest, it kind of reminds me of, like... I don't know. That's another perfume. I think they might have discontinued it or something like that, but... Oh, it reminds me of, like... Yellow Sunshine or something like that. I'm going to put a picture up here if I can find it. It used to be another perfume. I think they discontinued it because I haven't really seen it much in the store in like a couple years. I used to have it and I was 
I was obsessed with it. The reason I keep some of my wrists right now. <laughs> but um, next up is Fresh Coconut Colada. Now, this is actually my girlfriend's. Um, I don't use it as much as she does because, once again, it's hers. And I try not to use all her stuff up. But it is real, very, 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 very good. Um, it got a real, like... I don't want to say strong like coconut smell, but is is there. Like, you can tell that it's there. Whenever she sprays it, she gets out of the shower, or she's going to go somewhere, or something like that. Like, it lingers on her. Like, I don't, I don't know what it is, but she just got that type of... She don't even do as many sprays as I do. I be in there all around the world, and she just... And it just lasts forever on her, but... Not too much on that one. Because I know she's going to kill me for even having it in this video. Alright, next up, this was another champagne toast. I don't know what the difference was between these two. I don't I don't think the smells were really any different as far as I can remember. I don't know. I mean it smells a little bit different, but both of these are called champagne toasts. Like I don't know what the reason for it, if it was just to like change up the look of it or whatever like that, because I still see these in store too. So I don't know, but this is another one of my favorites or whatever like that up there with it it's just i like it but i don't like it as much as this one if you get what i mean i don't know i feel like it's weird but it's not at the same time so next up um i kind of fell off with this one if i'm being honest it's called into the night like my label is kind of there there fade off but it's called Into the Night. Um, I can't say when I first got this, the thing that I really liked about it the most was it got a little like shimmer to it. I don't know if you can see it like around the bottle or even in the perfume. Like it has a little shimmer to it. Like I don't know if you can see that. It comes out more like when it's on like butt clothing or something like that. Like I see it on my wrist, but I know it's just the lighting. But the only reason I stopped really using this is because I don't know what happened, but it's like it's something wrong with the little spray little nozzle or whatever like that. I feel like I need to switch it out with another one or something, but it like sprays out if I get what I mean. It's not like a little mist anymore. It like sprays and it just gets everywhere. It doesn't disperse out like it's supposed to. It just goes in like one specific spot and nowhere else. So that's kind of really why I fell off of that one. But overall, as far as the scent, I still like it. That's another reason why it's still in like not last place like in between like kind of in the middle if you get what i mean so next up is black cherry merlot merlot i don't know i don't know if i'm saying that word right but i call it merlot um i don't really too much care black cherry merlot black cherry whatever the case may be and it has a real like fruity type smell to it like whenever i put this on my girlfriend always says i smell like kool-aid or like blueberries some something like that which it's black cherry. Black cherry. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's a, it's a comfort thing it's just, it's just to say I smell like Kool Aid. I don't know. But it's one of Molly's favorites. Like, it's not bad. I still like it. I might throw it on sometimes when I got the shower or something like that just to have it on. Whatever, whatever. Next up, I have, this is also my girlfriend's, it's called Bahama Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. I know this was like a, was this like a summer? I think this was like a summer, spring collection or something like that. I don't know. It's not one of my most favorites, but I don't know why I seem to like the smell of her more than me. Like, I, I don't get it. I, don't, I, I really don't get it. It's That's why it's just. I leave it for her rather than me, but I was still gonna put it in the video even though I don't use it. Next up is also this is I don't really think this was in the last spot. This is my least least favorite. Like this is in the last spot. And I put this after black cherry and merlot. This is black raspberry vanilla. And oh, this is the other one that I um yeah, I put this. I put this one before this one, if I'm being honest. This is the one that she says mostly smells like Kool-Aid or whatever like that, whenever I put it on. I don't know what it is, but sometimes I mix these two because they kind of got like a 
similar smell if i'm being honest so i kind of mix them sometimes or either you know i just wear one and then like i take the other in my bag if i need to or if i want to or whatever the case may be but black cherry black raspberry vanilla over a black cherry merlot is always gonna be a go-to and lastly this is mine obviously this is my girlfriend's it's called ocean and i can't lie it was another one she had called was it Canyon or something like that? I'm gonna try to put a picture up here. We have not been able to find it in the store because she originally wanted that one again besides this one. And I actually like that one over this one if I'm being honest, but it's not bad. It really smells good. I like it whenever she sprays it on herself when she wanna get dressed up or whatever like that. And we're gonna get ready to go, you know, go bowling or wherever, wherever. I like the smell on her, of course, it's not for me. But I really need to try to sit here and find the other one because if I can find the other one for her, I feel like she will love me forever. All right, next up, I have my scrubs. I probably should have done my lotion first. Let me do. Let me do this lotion. This is. It's just one. I don't really like a lot of Bath Body Works lotions. If I'm being honest, like I don't really use anything scented on my like body or arms like that. Like I don't really use it. I'm more so like a cocoa butter regular lotion type of person but like, i usually occasionally like i might keep it in my book bag or in the car or something like that when i need something quick just to put on my hands or whatever like that and we actually got it when we ordered this online i think it was i ordered this online and she had got some other stuff or whatever like that it was like a coupon thing or whatever like that and that's when we got this like it doesn't smell bad it doesn't have like a real strong smell and it is like a shea butter type thing like if you can see at the bottom it's like a ultimate hydration body cream with shea butter and hyaluronic acid or whatever like that so it's not bad i mean it's still the uh, i would put this over all other ones if i'm being honest like it's not too much for me like it really is something that i can put on and it remind me like regular shea butter or cocoa butter or something like that like that's why i still use it and it's not really thrown over to the side you know this is my girlfriend's as well because it wasn't supposed to be mine it was in a cart and she ordered it by mistake anyways moving on we actually got these out of the store these are the scrubs and oh, I got stuff on the bottom of it. I usually use these in the shower. I used to. I don't use them as much as I used to when I first got them. Um, this one is hers, obviously, because it's the same as the perfume. And this one is mine. I didn't get the perfume for this one because I think I had got the Sunshine Mimosa. I had got this one instead, so I didn't get the perfume for this because I just wanted to smell it. And it was like two scrubs. Buy one, get one free. I want to say something like that like it still smells good though summer melody i love it it's still like a 10 out of 10 recommend as far as scrubs and hers it smells a little bit different from the actual perfume the um behind my passion fruit it still smells a little different the only thing about this is it's real like i don't know how to put it like it really separates more than this one does like, i don't know what's the difference in this one like what they got in it that makes it like separate like this or if it's just because we haven't used it in so long, but it's not really a favorite of mine. It's the reason why it's hers instead. I like the smells on her. Now moving on, this isn't really Bath and Body Works. Um, this is still just more of my scrubs or whatever like that. You should know this brand. Tea Tree Hut. Well, Tea Tree Hut. Tree Hut. You know all the different scrubs they got, whatever like that. You can find them in Walmart, Target. Probably Ross, so a whole bunch of different places. But I got this in out of Walmart, like, I want to say maybe two years ago. And it's Coconut Long. I still use it a lot, obviously, as you can see that there's barely anything there. Um, There was another one that was supposed to be here. It was a pineapple one that um my girlfriend has. But she just took it back the other day so she could use it while she was at home. But I like that one, too. It has a real strong pineapple little smell to it. I'm still going to put a picture up in the video so that you know what it looks like and then i have this one it's not really a scrub but it is a scrub it's a exfoliating body uh body oh my god it's exfoliating body polish and i don't think it has like a real like 
distinct like supposed to be like freight fragrance to it it's just like a oatmeal something oil <laughs> i'm gonna put another picture um, like a better description of it like in the video but it's not bad i just used it last night i like the way it smells on my body i just scrub it all around rinse it off and i feel like it lasts for a very 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 very, very long time also moving on this isn't really a scrub it's more so it's just a body butter and it's also the same brand as this. I didn't realize that until now. And this is also something that my girlfriend picked out out of Target, I want to say. Yeah, we got this out of Target. And it's not bad. It smells good. It's real smooth. Like, I don't know if you can really see the color of it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but it's real smooth. Like, I like the way it feels when I put it on my body. And it's just a regular vitamin C whipped shea butter to reveal brighter looking skin. So if you got your skin out here looking crusty dusty. I said damn bitch. Right, let's see. Moving on, also, um, we just recently got this. It's like a um it was like a coupon thing. My girlfriend got it. It's a champagne toast little body bar or whatever like that. She hasn't used it yet, but we just opened it to see what it smells like. And it's not a very strong smell. It still smells like the perfume, but it's not real strong. It's not much to it. It's just like a simple little, little body bar. Like, it doesn't have a, a little name on it or nothing like that. Like, how Dial is or something like that. How it has Dial on top. It's just a regular little body bar that she has yet to use yet. Also, when we got these, well, when we got this, when <laughs> we got these, um, I had got these out of the store. They were my, um, little wildfire plugins or whatever like that i had to get the actual thing to go over there to plug into my wall because obviously you can't use the regular ones um i have this one plugged in already it's a little stress relief eucalyptus and spearmint i had this one and i was going to use this one but i decided i want to say this one because this is like better than that one if i'm being honest and this is amethyst dreams it has a real nice little common like smell to it if i'm being honest it's not as bad as i thought it was gonna be like first little whiff i was like mm. but it's actually not bad when i had it like plugged in i put it in for the first time whatever like that but i took it out but it went around and it diffused like very quickly i just waste a whole bunch of dust stuff on myself because obviously i use this for my um jesus oh my god i can't think of the name of it i use this for my incense or whatever like that. So I really just waste a whole bunch of ash stuff up in my pants. Which I'm going to have to clean up after this video. But this is a candle called Peach Bellini. And this isn't really like a new, new thing. I know it's kind of old. like, But I still like it. This is one of the first candles I got and started lighting in my dorm. Because it has a real nice little fruity smell to it. I like the peach smell. And... It just makes me feel good. It makes my room smell like a whole little vibe when you walk up in here. But, sadly, I pretty much used all of it. So, that's a little bit at the bottom. But, you know, I can't light it anymore because of the wick. And then, I have Mahogany Apple. Um, It's actually two of these. I had the small one, which you can see that I already burnt out. Like, pretty much all of it. So, I that a little bit. And then, I have this one. It's not green like the small one it's just a regular white color but both of them smell just as good if i'm being honest but i do like this one because it takes longer to burn rather than this one because i'm being honest i really like burning candles when it comes down to my room like i would burn a candle all day every day i just won't go to sleep with it burning then moving on also i have mahogany teak wood my girlfriend picked out this one it's not bad i can't even really Okay, no, I remember the smell. I remember exactly why all of this is going because it smells amazing. This is something I would highly recommend for dudes. If you're not a type of person who really likes lighting candles in your room and things like that, or all this other sweet smelling stuff that us girls do, my honey tea would. I think they have a cologne in this too for men, if I'm being honest. Or if I'm not mistaken, please don't make me lie. I think they have a cologne in this. If I can find it, I'm going to put it up on the screen for you all. But Mahogany Tea Wood. 10 out of 10 recommend when it comes down to candles for 
dudes or little boys or anything like that or even some females like if you don't like the real fruity smelling stuff up in here that i got in this video or anything else i recommend that for you as well because you'll love it even for me who like the little room smelling sweet and stuff like that i actually like this i put it in my bathroom i would sit in my room just wherever just to make the whole place smell good and then i have fresh sheets um, I know I really like this because it is a subtle smell. Like when I say this is like fabric sheets, fabric softener, dry sheets, dry sheets. I got it. I know what I'm talking about. I know I know what I'm talking about. Dryer sheets. And it's called fresh sheets. But this is exactly what it smells like if I'm being honest. Like when you first take your clothes out and you got the little, you can put you more than two dryer sheets up in there. Because I know some of y'all be up there from five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, this is exactly what it smells like. It's complete heaven when you just got done cleaning your whole house or cleaning your room or whatever like that. Fresh sheets. Like that. And I honestly recommend it for your bathroom if I'm being for like bathroom smells. It has to be, I want to say that's like top tier for your bathroom. But overall, that's it for my haul. Um, I feel like this is going to be way longer than what I expected it to be but probably not at the same time I didn't have my little mess ups or whatever like that stuttering and stuff like that listen y'all I'm tired don't be in the comments talking about me please um overall my videos have been doing good though I like seeing the support and stuff like that all the numbers are constantly going up which I really appreciate because I'm being honest editing and trying to record and figure out what I want to record it really is a struggle so all the support that I get I really do appreciate it I'm doing this for y'all doing this for y'all I'm doing this for me I'm doing this for us okay I told you in the beginning we're like in like this we're friends okay you can't go nowhere you can't leave me and if you do then I'm sorry you didn't enjoy this experience but that's all for today's video like I said vanilla sugar 10 out of 10, recommend go cop you some today. They should still be in store. If not, let me know. And I will happily go file a complaint myself. And if it's just out of stock, then just wait. Just wait, sweetheart. So here, you can borrow some of mine. I got you. Just don't use all of it because I need it. Even though I didn't put it on today, but I need it. But <laughs> that's all for today's video. I guess I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all social medias, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all of that. Even though I don't post on TikTok, I'm getting there. What if I post on TikTok one day and you, you, you're you not there? You didn't follow me, so you can't like the video. You can't see and Then you're going to be lost. Then you're going to be looking lost. And then then we can't be friends no more. I'm going to I'm gonna have to cut you off. Instead of being like this, we're going to have to be like this. So